So, Craig, Sonos already had an iPhone app for its music system. What what did you guys do differently when the iPad came out to take advantage of the larger real estate and anything else that the iPad afforded you guys? Well, the um, the main thing is, is exactly like you said. We, we tried to design it in a way that we could take advantage of the large screen. Uh, that's just a, uh, a big, big difference between uh, between something, a screen this small and a screen this big. Uh, the primary thing we did was we put uh, uh, the zone menu, the now playing screen, and the music browse screen all right next to one another. So you could see everything at once um, instead of just blowing it up and having it the same exact thing that's on the iPhone be larger. Uh, when you do that, uh, it, it gives you a couple good things. It lets you uh, both you know, see what's playing and where it's playing at the same time as you might research, you know, or, or learn more about what's playing. For instance, right now there's a Radiohead song playing, and I can uh, scroll and read an artist's bio. Uh, you know, well, I know what's going on in my house. Um, another thing that it really allows you to do, which is which is really really nice, is it gives you a whole sort of side of the screen for music, you know, for searching for music. And um, let's see, let's say I want to play a, oh, I don't know, Aerosmith song next. I can search for uh, a song, say, okay, I want to I want to hear Ragdoll next. I'm going to drag it to be uh, next in the queue. It adds that song to the queue, and then I can uh, I can uh, I can edit my queue and. Uh, you know, right there on the screen, change the order of things, uh, make the perfect playlist, all while having all the information about what's going on in my house right at my fingertips. For um, the iPhone, were these would these have all been on individual screens? Yeah, they're all on individual screens, and so we had to have a way to, um, you know, you'd select a song, and then it would give you a menu of options you'd like to do with it. Um, having a screen this big that allows you to just say, okay, take this, uh, pick it up, drag it over, and there, it's going to play next. Faster. It just makes it faster. It makes your time to music that much faster, that much easier, uh, a more natural, intuitive way to use your music. It's a big deal. Um, of course, we can do things like that, uh, which uh, give you a reorientation so you can use it uh, in whichever way is more natural to you.